Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little cold in the morning. 24 below with the windshield to be exact, but the numbers on the thermometer mean nothing when a critical transmission line is down. Well, first of all, you have to have the gear. You have to be dressed warm to be out there. You can't work when it's cold. A late January ice storm damaged the 345 kilovolt line that runs from the Antelope Valley Station in North Dakota to the Broadland Substation in South Dakota. It says four, four, quarter, four quarter inch with four inch and a half bolts. Generation from the power plants in North Dakota is restricted until the repairs are finished. Crews mobilized January 25th but were held up by continuing blizzard conditions. So it'll be four on each side. They arrived near Baudel, South Dakota on January 26th. Found four structures in this area that are damaged to the tower itself. And um, 20 miles to the south of here is another location. We got four miles of static wire down. Um, once we get done with putting the steel up here, we'll be moving south to work on that section. Crews from Basin Electric, six transmission system maintenance outposts in four states were called in, 22 linemen and three mechanics in all. I love it when we can have a get together. Only not on the, under these conditions. We got everybody in on this one. This is the first time on the 500 line that this has gone down like this here. So in the 30 years that it's been sitting here, so it's a new experience for us too. But it uh, takes a lot, a lot of effort and stuff with the steel. It's not like a wood structure. All the pieces, a big erector set that needs to be put in and put together and assembled. Critical repairs should be finished by the weekend of February 6th. The line will be returned to service then. The Leland Old Station to Groton, South Dakota line was also damaged in the storm, though it remains in service. An aerial line patrol on January 30th revealed bent static peaks that need to be repaired. We expected the worst. I mean, we had frost covering, you know, like a three, four county area. We, this is minimal damage. We could have had a lot more. This was, we were lucky on this one here. So you got to give the guys a bunch of kudos for being out here assembling this stuff. Yes, that's their job, but... They're putting an extra effort to get this up back up for us. So. For Basin Electric, I'm Aaron Huntimer.